Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drone. So today we've got the JJRC, I think it's H70, or plank. Why they chose to put the word plank on the front of something's quite beyond me, but JJRC seem to be naming everything at the minute. So, this is what you get. It's a very basic little quad. So let me show you what you get in the box. So you get the drone, which I'll show you in a second. The controller, which I really do like. A couple of spare props. Uh, sorry, a set of first, full set of spare props and a charging cable. So this was sent to me by Banggood to review. So thank you ever so much for sending me this out. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to purchase one of these. I, I can tell you straight away I highly recommend this thing. So, this thing is amazing fun and this fact is amazing fun is because it's got nothing on it. There's no camera, there's no 3D flips. It's just something to fly around the house. And it really makes a refreshing change for someone just to make something like this. They didn't try and bolt the camera onto it. All you've got is a, a little light on the front which I'll show you in a second and you've got some little lights underneath and you've got these pop-up props. So it falls in the box like this and if you put your two fingers on the side here they pop out and then to push them back down you simply push and it locks in place. Okay, so release them again. You have a battery that comes in here, it is a proprietary battery, it's a 300 milliamp hour 1S battery, 20C, it's good for about 6 minutes and that just simply plops in the bottom of there. I'm just connect it up for you. It's got a little tiny on and off switch on the top, just there. There you go. See the flashing lights on the top and it's got your little LED at the front to turn your controller on. Which takes three AAA batteries on at the front and then in time on a tradition up and down to bind it. And there you go, you can see lights on the top and one underneath. It has on the controller a headless mode a return to home or come back in the general direction you've been flying an automatic take off and land button these are to trim forward and backwards and this is to trim left and right on this stick you then have a high medium and low rates on the top here I will tell you in rate 1 it's really really slow perfect for a beginner if you've never flown a drone before this is absolutely perfect in that mode and then this button on this particular one does nothing but I'm presuming this controller is also made for one with 3D flips but that would be a 3D flip one. The controller feels nice in your hand so as you can see take off and land starts and stops your motors I'll have some flight footage of it flying for you in a minute so it has that and then it's got it is obviously altitude hold so the stick center so it's an altitude hold drum so some people like altitude hold and some people don't. I think for beginner, altitude hold is absolutely the way to go. If you've never flown a drone before, you're taking one of the hardest things, well not the hardest thing, but one of the things that's difficult for a learner to do, and that is throttle management. So to start on, this to me is the ideal indoor starter drone because the price is really low, which you'll see in the description, if you click the description below. It's fully caged in, so you can smash the wall with it, it'll just bounce off, it won't stop, it'll keep going and it's got altitude hold. So you don't need to bother with your throttle management, you simply have to get it up in the air, get to the height you want to do, and you're virtually flying with a single stick. All you're doing is you're with this one, but you're going forwards and backwards, and you can go, you can um, bank left and right with this stick, and just yaw with that one. It makes it so much easier, so you can forget about trying to hold it in the air, because it'll stay in the air on its own. To me, it makes a massive difference. So there's not much more to show you on the drone, because virtually that's it. I highly recommend this thing. It's, the cost is fantastic on it. It's tiny, it'll fit in your pocket if you want them to do. The controller's small, it's not cumbersome, and it isn't like some of the little ones you get like with the ear sheen and stuff like that. This thing's actually got some presence about it. It holds nice in your hand. It's a nice thing to use. I'm gonna stick you some video up me flying it around my lounge for just a minute or so, because there isn't that much to show you. There's no camera footage or anything to show you. I'll just show you filming my GoPro so you can see what it's like and how smooth it is. Thanks ever so much for watching, have a fantastic day.